let's go over Dev Brief 88 and talk about bullet penetration. Okay, so Dev Brief 88 starts out with this awesome header image of the new Hurtgen map that's being reworked for update eight. And right away, the different colors on the object jump out at you. Well, then you read the title and you find out they're talking about bullet penetration. Now this is awesome. So we get to hear from the lead developer, Max, who's at Black Matter, and he shares a little bit about their thought process and how they're going to bring this into the game. He lets the community know that they didn't want to make it too complex, but they also didn't want to make it cheesy, where you're either not doing anything that's noticeable or you're just shooting your Luger through a cement wall and you're basically not safe anywhere. I'm sure that there were many different scenarios that went into how this was going to play out on their end. Uh, and, and one of them he mentions is the netcode budget. If it's going to cause lag or crash servers or have other in, you know issues pop up elsewhere, what is, what's the benefit? Then Max goes on to share how they're creating a material penetrability in wood, cloth, etc. So every item in the game will hopefully have a, a material penetrability uh, uh, value. And that is going to be measured against the munition that is hitting that, that asset. Something that else that they're taking into effect is the degrading velocity and subsequent penetration of objects. So obviously if you're shooting the sniper rifle, that's probably gonna go through, you know, a few more things than if you're shooting a nine millimeter round. Um, so that's, that's really great to see. Now they want all things to penetrate fabric, paper, and glass. That's pretty much happening right now. So I think that that should be a pretty smooth thing for, for them to pull off. Now the smaller rounds, like the nine millimeter I mentioned, going through thin wood and plaster. So if you're behind like a window pane or inside of a house where, you know, it's, it's, it's like a thin plaster kind of situation, you, you, might, you might end up bleeding, all right? But it might take a few more bullets based off the system they're explaining for you to actually be killed, which is pretty sweet. Larger rounds are, their aim is to, to, to penetrate thicker wood, some brick and thin metal. Now they let us know that they're working through the majority of the props in the game and really being thoughtful about what is going to be penetrable and uh, if it makes sense, uh, if, it, if it's too much, which is really great to hear. They, they really put a lot of, of thought into the detail to, to make a great experience, you know, every single match. Now we're gonna take a look at the image that was provided in update 88 and better understand what the colors represent. So yellow indicates any weapon will be able to shoot through it. And if there's an enemy on the other side, it's not gonna be a good day for him. The orange represents where smaller rounds will be able to penetrate that specific asset and the red indicates where the larger rounds will be able to penetrate that specific asset. So there's different levels of the material and the rounds, and it's pretty great to see how they're implementing it and how they're able to, to visualize it so that we can get ready for what is to come. They end the dev brief with uh, letting us know they're always looking at feedback and they're excited to hear what we have to say once it rolls out and is live. I'm looking forward to this. Update eight is going to be huge. If you thought update seven was massive, there's so much more to come. They've already talked about upgrading the engine and a ton of other features. So hold on your hats, grab your weapon and see me on the battlefield that's all I got for this one. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And again, at 1,000 subscribers, we're giving away 10 free copies of Hell Let Loose. So don't forget to sub. I'll be announcing the winners in a future video in the comment section. Take care, and I'll see you next time.